what's up y'all in my video today we're going to teach about sampling and slicing the old school way of machine i think this is the best way to sample and slice a machine first off uh, you have to go to your preference and you want to go to colors and make sure that your group and your sound and your scenes and you low with colors is checked and that's the first step and second step is to throw your sample in so we got this sample in everything is cool with the sample and everything is, is is shifting right so the easiest way to make this um your own sounds is you slice it by detect and you play around with it and use your sensitivity or percentage and scroll up and down to see uh what kind of slices you want so let's scroll up and down and i'm gonna hit my sampling page on my mk3 and let's go through these slices so i would like to sample um this sound right here i need to scroll up i need to zoom up a little bit so i got it zoomed where i want it so i want that sample because it sounds cool and clean and it's it's detected right in the detect range so i want that so what i would do is uh, highlight it by pushing a pad and then i would left click it and throw it to another sound slot and then it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna have the same, it's gonna have the same sample, but with that one chop. But now since every time you throw it in a, uh, another sound slot, it's gonna open up the sampler. So don't be afraid of it. Looks like this when you throw another sample in. So we got the sample. That's the sample we took. And now while we're through the same pad that we duplicated it on, we can make more samples and make more um, sound slots. So I'm gonna take this, you hitting the button by selecting it because if you hit all of it, it's, a, it's selected. So I want this sound and I'm gonna left click it again and throw it into the sound three. And that's the sound that we took. It's going to still show you the, the same slice as uh, of, the, of the, the main one that we sliced and the second one we sliced. And it's going to keep on making them through color. So once you got them, once you got, once you got them all laid down in your sounds, uh, you want to um, hit pad mode. And then if you look at the MK3, I have two samples. And if I hit them, that's the first sound I wanted, and that's the second sound I wanted. And I'm not worried about uh, making more duplicate sounds and hold more hardware until the next step. So once I got these little two samples, I got these two samples uh, laid out. Uh, I want to throw it in my sample library. So what I would do is hit the sound that I want. I want. And then I will go to edit. Don't do nothing after this. Don't even touch none of this right here. Just go straight to Trunicate. And it makes a sample. And if I hit this next one, it's going to still do the same thing. But it's going to be an edit because it's going to copy and mirror what I did for the next pad. So I was over here. Now I'm over here. And it's still in edit. If I was over here in slice, it'll still be in slice. So I'm in edit and I hit Trinicate. Now I got two samples. And I can record it. I'm gonna record this just out of the spite. So cool, you got two samples that you trunicated from your bigger slice right here. 
So you got your bigger slice and you made your sample slices. And the thing I would do is I would save these samples, right click it. You could save it in machine, but you're probably not going to find it because it's going to be. Uh, let's find it right now. If I find it, try to find it right now, it's going to say hotline and it's a WAV file. So it just makes copies of, of it just makes copies of if you truncate, uh, copy, paste, fade out, and do stuff like that, normalize. It's, it's going to make another sample. So what I would do is if, if it goes dark like that and you try to truncate, it'll mess it up because it's not it only got that one portion so uh, undo and double click in in the blacks the black markers or anywhere in the black and it'll highlight the whole thing and it'll make it like a light grayish black and then what you would do is right click and save sample find you a, a folder somewhere on your desktop make a folder of um, of all your um, I guess samples that you want to just put in a library for yourself and use later on and I would save it like that and as you can save it as a WAV file only if you're on a, a PC and after you save your file you can go back and if I went back to my folder which it is and I got a clap that I made earlier I can scroll down here throw it in and I can have the sound with this while I'm play making a beat. Then I can note repeat. I can do all types of stuff. Once you got that sample in your possession, and that is my video of using machine to sample slice fast. I would use this if I had a Micro 3. Um, I recently just got rid of my Micro 3 because I needed my MK3 to screens. But when I learned about doing like this, I could, you know, I could easily have a micro three and do the sampling on here and then pushing pad mode and using my samples, using my samples and stuff like that uh, through machine. And without no time, you will have a sample library by making beats and just saving stuff. So what I would do, make a uh, organize yourself, get a folder, put it in your desktop somewhere, make it uh, by BPM or by style, and I would do that because you don't want to lose out because you make a lot of music. You just don't want to just make it and not save nothing to remix on. That's my video. Thank y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all keep y'all heads up, all right? Subscribe, boy.